We are too used to the spectacular. The supernatural is not necessarily the spectacular. There was one man who had the stature, the grace, the mantle enough for the preservation of an entire nation. If you see me as I'm taking, how can you serve with me in the same church for 10 years, for 5 years, and you've never seen me for who I am in the spirit? If you see me as I'm taking, that's only how you receive. Just because your husband is the pastor, don't deceive yourself. When Elisha was to die in 2 Kings chapter 13, the Bible says the king of Israel came to him and shouted, My father, my father. If you read it in the Living Bible translation, it says, You are the chariot of Israel. Where did he get that from? In 2 Kings chapter 2, when Elijah was working with Elisha, and the Bible says that a chariot of fire appeared between them. And Elijah was taken by a wild wind to heaven. Remember, Elijah told Elisha, if you see me as I'm taken, <laughs> it was not saying that if you see me going to heaven. No, 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 no. Many people saw others going to heaven and nothing happened to them. The disciples saw Jesus going into heaven, levitating from the ground and up he went and nothing happened to him. Jesus told them, go and wait for the Holy Ghost to come. It was not about going to heaven, no. It was not. We are too used to the spectacular. The supernatural is not necessarily the spectacular. The supernatural is the supernatural. Elijah said, just before I leave you, you have served me for 19 years. But just before I leave you, if your eyes can be opened to see that I'm more than just a prophet, that I represent God's system of defense and protection in Israel, that I am the representation of the economy of God over Israel. It, 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 the, despite the fact that they have been sinning against God, going into idolatry, yet they were not yet sold into slavery. Why? There was one man who had the stature, the grace, the mantle enough for the preservation of an entire nation. If you see me as I'm taking, how can you work with me for 19 years and you don't know my spiritual identity? How can you serve with me in the same church for 10 years, for 5 years, and you've never seen me for who I am in the spirit? If you see me as I'm taking, that's only how you receive. Just because your husband is the pastor, don't deceive yourself. I don't know why God said I should preach like this this night. If you see me, it's the same way if some people around you can discern who you represent. They are, you are so surrounded with people filled with jealousy and malice and envy and over familiarity that even you, you have lost vision of your own identity in Christ. But today, today, there's an anointing to awaken that fountain, to awaken that well that is inside of you to command those ancient wells to spring forth, spring up, O ye well. That something will enter your life today and the real identity, the real you as God created you will manifest. They said he saw one amongst the prophets. When did he begin to prophesy? If you will see me, If you see me, this thing we call financial grace, some of you will see. If your heart is truly open, you will see it. Let me tell you the truth. I will not deceive you. Financial intelligence is good. Getting a job, all those things are good. But do you know there is a grace that can prosper men? It's beyond what you have seen. I, sh I share it from a bank of experience. There's a grace that can operate with your finances and you will not be able to share with people because if you do, people will become lazy. There's a grace. If you see me as I'm taking, 